I can't believe it. Gareth Bale has officially re-signed for Spurs. I mean, I, I, I kind of can believe it because we've been, you know, admin have been teasing us for the past. I don't even know how long it's been. But man, it's official. It's been announced by the club. Gareth Bale is once again a Tottenham Hotspur footballer. This is huge. I'm so excited. I actually can't even contain it, man. As much as we knew it was happening over the past couple of days, it, it doesn't beat anything like seeing in him in that spur shirt yet again. The guy is unreal. I literally just released a video with Mitch Hay Artist, who is obviously an incredible artist. And we, we were at the Spurs Stadium earlier today talking about what Bale means for the club, what it means for the fans, literally everything and it was a great video so if you haven't seen that already make sure to check it out it's already live i accidentally scheduled it for 6 p.m not knowing that the announcements were going to be 5 45 for region and six o'clock for gareth bale but yeah man it's it's official he's a tottenham hotspur player and it's it's insane to see him in that spur shirt yet again he has now adopted the number nine he was 16 3 11 and is now number nine man this is i can't i don't even know what to say man it's been seven years seven years of trying to replace gareth bale and we ended up doing it with gareth bale all right it's a season-long loan but i have no doubt potentially maybe we have an option to extend it to a second year if that is the case that's the final year of his contract we could then get him for free after or even if we just sign him for for cheaper next year if he wants to stay but he can do so much for us can you imagine a front three of son kane Bale, or even if it's like Sun Kane Bergvine and Bale plays in that number 10 role behind them, we're going to have one of the best attacks in the league, no question about it. We just need him to get back to his fitness. All the reports are saying that they're looking about mid October for him to get fully, fully fit again, put him on a regime. But what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think? Gareth Bale is a Spurs player again. Oh, it just sends chills. It honestly just sends absolute chills down my spine and i just wish fans can get back to the stadium as soon as possible because i'll be it's going to be obviously it's amazing team in a spurs show but it would have been unreal for his first game if we were all there we were all singing his name and then you just see i don't know when you know when they do the announcement of the the, the team lineup before the game starts and you just see that gareth bale number nine appear on those four screens in the corner Oh, I don't think the crowd will be able to contain themselves. It's ridiculous. We're talking, this guy was in discussion for top three in the world with Messi and Ronaldo being the other two. Obviously, it's a shame, as we all know, potential uh, injuries, um, very, very injury prone. But and I think it was more the case he didn't play because he was shunned out of the Real Madrid side by Zidane. But let's not forget, it was only two years ago he scored that bicycle kick in the final versus Liverpool coming off. An, oh, I think he came off the bench for that game as well. Absolute scene, scoring two goals against Carrius. Unbelievable player the amount of goals when you think back to when he was back at Spurs the game against uh, West Ham when he scored that absolute beauty and ran over to AVB hugging him the when, when he just ran straight through the Norwich team finished those goals as well the Stoke goal on the volley left foot into the top right corner there are so many games uh, how can I forget the Inter Milan hat-trick Inter Milan hat-trick which stopped it from being a total embarrassing result but ruining Mykon's career in the progress it's ridiculous. Like, it, oh, the guy is going to score magical goals. This is the thing. I feel like we've been missing a lot. And I've said this, not only just me, a lot of fans have said this, but I've said this for years now as well. We've always been now one player away. Think back to the 16, 17 season or around the, and the one after that, 17, 18. We've always been so, so, so close with our squad, but we just seem to have be missing that that magic or missing that that know-how to win the trophies well now we've signed gareth bale back on loan who definitely knows how to win trophies won four champions leagues three of them in a row two of them being because of him with the goals that he scored the beauty he scored in the copa del rey final i think it was where he knocked the ball round the outside off the pitch had a churros had a cup of tea and a little coffee as well maybe a bit of cake after came back on still beat the the fullback to the ball and then scored 
Um, the guy is is ridiculous. He scores unreal goals, and I think that's just something we were definitely missing. Kane, incredible finisher. One of the best strikers in the world. Incredible. But a lot of the times we see that he kind of needs the uh he needs the ball being fed into him he needs that bit of space that pocket if he's got that space and the pocket and he and he, he's able to have a shot off 98 percent of the time whoa be relax yourself bro 98 percent of the time um it's going in the goal but what bale can offer is that he can run through the whole team from any part of the pitch and he can score those magical 35 yard goals maybe even a, a scissor kick something like a volley just something just that little extra special moment in the game just to take us hopefully all the way to europa league got to be the main target with him um, in the front line as well fa cup definitely doable league cup we might have to sacrifice just because the fixtures are so 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 compact um, but I don't see why we can't easily get at least top four in the league now because it's not just him, Regulon, Regulon, however you pronounce it as well. I'm going to do a separate video on him and his announcement, but him joining alongside him, it, this is huge for the club. Absolutely huge. I can't imagine, well, I mean, I can imagine every single Spurs fan heading down to the Spurs stadium probably tomorrow because um, I think it's closed now for the club shop to be able to get bail number nine on the back of this because uh, you damn well know I'm about to do that <laughs> the guy is home the guy is back it's just oh it's unreal it's unreal I don't know I didn't even admit, I just never thought it would happen I never ever 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 thought this would happen to see him back in the Spurs show because I always thought the whole wage stumbling block everything was just it was it was too late and when he signed that long-term contract with Madrid um taking off until what he's like 33 years old and you're thinking by that point would it even be worth it but no the, the, the boost to the fans Twitter is going nuts right now the boost to the fans the boost to the club when you're thinking of like what kind of level that puts us on signing Alex Morgan one of the best women striker out there one of the most well-known one of the most talented raises us in in the americas but bale just a worldwide phenomenon he's got more followers on instagram than any premier league club the guy is a superstar so he's going to bring us to that next level and he's going to bring us to that next level talent wise as well bale is, um not bale sorry kane is now no longer the best player in the team potentially which is a good thing it's a good thing we need world-class players to push everyone and now we can seriously go in every game with some huge squad depth, with the quality. And honestly, I am just so excited to see him play on the pitch. Like I said many a times already, it is going to be magical. All right, magical. Make sure to leave a comment down below what you make of this, this whole transfer, this whole saga, literally everything about it. Because I, like, like you could probably see in this video, I'm sorry for the for the for the movement, but I I can't contain my excitement. The guy is home, man. He's home. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, Bale. That you're probably not going to see this at all. But anyway, I love you. Thank you for coming back. You've you've kind of brought the positivity back in Spurs fans, and um, hoping like this this season could be absolutely unreal. So thank you for coming back. Bale is back. Bale is home. Much love to all you Spurs fans. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think and how he fits in the Mourinho system. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next upload, which will be, yeah, the Reggion one. So let's go. Call you Spurs.